they're saying that uh, we're gonna they're gonna work with the cab companies to get all hybrid cars, <laughs> and we'll be making our money saving gas. How can we make money saving gas on a hybrid if 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 they're gonna raise the leases? You know. You know, for the cab companies, where's the where's that going to go? You know, we're, we're making under minimum wage. You know, and it's time that we're going to start fighting for a fair increase, and we're not going to we're not going to take no for an answer from this guy. We're not we're going to we're not going to stop fighting here. We're going to continue to keep this fight until we, until our demands are met. Now I understand you you were the one who collected the signatures, correct? Yes. And they said that they were fraud. And they and they said 460 signatures were invalid. They said that some of the some of the licenses to these drivers were suspended. Some of them were put on hold. Some of them were some of them were uh, in, in uh, surrender. And some of them were in surrender, and they expired while they were in surrender. And. Uh, and they, they says some of them were revoked. Now, when I got the now, when I got the signatures for the petition, they put a date alongside their name. At that time, they're, they're, they were not invalid. At that time, they signed because because the cab companies will not lease a cab to the cab driver unless he shows he shows them this license. Uh, you know, a, a chauffeur's license, and there are city inspectors at the airports. They go through the cab stands and they check for le uh, you know updated leases and chauffeurs. So, how many signatures did you get total? Did they say all of them were fraud? Or some they just said some of them. Okay. What they did was they just came up with this excuse, saying that that so many of them were invalid just so that they could say that I failed to meet the requirement. I didn't fail to meet any requirement. So George is trying to tell me that there's this new ordinance where they don't have to do with the cab drivers if they're Yes, but that won't go into, but that won't go into uh, July. But see, he's denying the hearing, and then he's saying that, and then this guy Beal, he, you know, who denied the hearing, he says that we're not going to get it because the signatures were invalid, but he's going to give it to us anyway, but after July 1st when the proposals go into the ordinance, because that's the right thing to do. The right thing to do is give us the fair increase and for the hearing for the fair increase now. That's the right thing to do. Ambassadors of the city, and they don't treat us like ambassadors. They could care less whether we're dead or alive. And it's time we're going to move on. We're not going to end here. We're going to continue this fight until our demands are met. Okay. What time are you guys starting? Well, we're going to start as soon as we get a you know a number of drivers over here. We're going to go well, eleven o'clock is when we're going to be starting this. Yeah, we're going to be there. When we get to my cab over there, I'll be Who are we? UTC! 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 Alright, uh, we're, we're uh, down to the uh, lower end of our chat sheet, but let's have a little uh, pull around and get together. We'll have a little uh, speech by Mr. Wojcicki and Mr. Kozendar here about why we're here and where the struggle goes on from here, okay? I've been a cab driver for 24 years. You want to use the speaker? Oh, I'll hold it for you. I've been a cab driver for 24 years. We will not stop here. We will continue fighting until our demands are met. Thank all of you for coming out here. All the cab drivers and supporters, I'd like to give a special thanks you and all the drivers who signed the petition. I collected 1,500 signatures, which the city denied because they said 430 of them were invalid. How could they be invalid when I collected them from working cab drivers with cabs and leases and chauffeurs that were the, when they signed the petition? We, have, we haven't had a raise in six years, and Alderman Beale denied our petition and says we could have a hearing in six months because it was the right thing to do. Alderman Beale, the right thing to do is give us the hearing now. Yes. Yeah. 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 What?
What do you want? Now. Fair increase. When what do, do we want, want it? it? Now. Where do we want a fair, fair increase? increase. When do, do we want it? Now. All right. Alderman Beale doesn't understand. Commissioner Crimble doesn't understand. Our leases go up every year. My rent goes up. Food prices go up. And now gas is going up. If the gas goes up to $5 a gallon, there won't be any cabs on the street because we're not profiting. If I collect the surcharge for the gas all day and give it to the gas station at night, that is not an increase. Now these new rules give lease, lease increases to big companies and they got all the new green cabs that cost more. And all that new costs are coming out of our pockets. It's not fair, it's not justice, and it's not right. We need this hearing to talk to the City Council about these issues. If Alderman Beale and Commissioner Crimble won't listen, we are asking the Mayor to step in and give us what we need. Thank you all for coming out. Hi everybody, thank you for coming. This is the continuous uh, struggle for taxi drivers in the city of Chicago to gain a livable wage and to have their demands met by the city council and the transportation committee led by this alderman, Alderman Beal. So the UTCC is committed to defend the right of the drivers and their wages and their living rights and their human rights and civil rights. We yeah. were participated in many hearings in the previous years demanding a living, livable wage for the drivers to no avail and no result, no positive result. Now, we are not just asking for a hearing for a fair increase. We are asking for a positive result for a hearing and a fair increase. That's right, me. That's we right. need yes. a fair increase now, not now. tomorrow, not in six months, not in seven months. That's right. Alderman Peel promised to have a hearing in six or seven months after the new rules will take effect in July 1st. This is not acceptable at all by the drivers because they are not making money for their families. That's they don't right. have enough food at the table for their families. That's why we are standing up together now to demand a fair increase now. When we want a fair increase? Now! When do we want it? Now! now. That's why Alderman Beale must hear our demands. Our demands include a hearing for a fair increase with a positive result, meaning that we need a fair, fair increase, increase now, right, that's right. the second demand is investigating the lease over charges which committed by the cab companies, which bribing and robbing the drivers from their money. That's the right, cab companies right, stealing right, money from the drivers. That's why they don't have enough money for their families. We asking a moratorium for this new ordinance for one year one full year so we can have a fair increase for the drivers to have enough money for themselves and to cover their expenses and to cover their gas which is skyrocketing these days that's why we demand a positive result for a fair increase hearing now when what do we want fair increase. when do you want it now, now. all right thank you Thank you everybody for coming out. I think we're about done with this uh, action here. And I hope the alderman or some of his staff is in here that can listen. Are we delivering a letter or anything? We're going to give him a letter uh, stating our demands and our position on this issue. Hopefully it will get to the alderman. And uh, uh, wait. by the way, good to he's going to come with you. Hello. Anybody in the office? Good morning, 
Good morning, ma'am. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Is the older man in his office today? He's not. He's no, not. No, sir. We are a delegation from the taxi drivers representing UTCC, which okay. is United Taxi Drivers Community Council. Mm -hmm. We pick it into your office. We ask him, the older man, be it to hold a hearing for a fair increase for the drivers. Can we submit our demand for him? You sure can. I thank you very much for your no. attention, ma'am. Thank you very much. Thank you. We went inside his office and we submitted our demands and one of his staff accepted that and they promised that to they, they want to give it to him. Thank you. All right, so we'll head back to our... Uh, thank you all again for coming out. And, and donuts on Peter, right? <laughs>